Today in a Box Break Podcast, I've got three Vivid Vaulted Elite Trainer boxes. So let's waste no more time and break right into it. Here we go. What is up and what is good and what is going on? You are watching slash listening to the fastest growing financial advice podcast based on cardboard pictures of cartoons so today this monday november the 16th 2020 i am going to break in to not one not two but three vivid voltage elite trainer boxes and they are sponsored by victor Simon and Alan. Now, if you would like to know how to get involved in the Box Break Podcast, the easiest way to do that is to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like product opened and sent to you, you can check the link in the description below. Let's waste very little time and get right into it. And this past weekend, we had an unbelievable turnout to catch the first collector's booster for magic the gathering commander legends it was a great opening i'm glad everyone enjoyed it now there were a lot of comments right about how i seem to manhandle packs so if you would like i can send a video on how to properly open a booster pack and i can show you guys just exactly how much i concern myself when it comes to opening new packs and to know just how um delicately i like to treat new cards <laughs> you know it's all in good fun so the first pack of the day is a magerna it is pretty good pretty good now with all the product coming out this weekend this past weekend and there we have lots of openings coming this week i have three Elite, I have three Vivid Voltage Booster boxes, and I also have Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum Gold opening coming up this week. So you're going to be want to be sure to subscribe to the channel, and you're going to want to be... Whoop, there we go. A Zamazenta Amazing Rare right off the jump. Well-centered card. Well-centered card. And we're going to get it into a sleeve for Victor here. Very exciting pull. These codes will not be shown because these packs are for someone else. So if they would like to give those codes away, they can. But they did not tell me that they would. So I'm going to assume that they want the codes. And they will be given to the person who bought them. So I'm very, very interested to see where the market goes for Commander Legends. I think it is a fantastic product. We've already seen some retracing in terms of the regular jeweled lotus in terms of the you know the regular non foils there's a lot of, this product's going to be out there and it's not that expensive it's 110 dollars a box so it's really great value if you can get in on these boxes at anything under 100 and keep them sealed they're great they're amazing for play now they're going to be printed a lot they're going to be in production so i wouldn't say go run out and get your positions immediately However, I would say on the collector's boosters, any number of boxes that you can get your hands on under 260, as long as you can afford to hold on to the product, I would tell you that you're going to want to do that. I think that it's a great opportunity because seriously, the full art foils of all the commander staples, there's a lot of great cards in that set. And then you have the etched foiling. Speaking of etched, what a box so far for Victor. We have an amazing rare Rayquaza. Beautiful card. So in the elite trainer boxes seem to have a decent pull rate for the amazing rares and that is what we want to see so i've opened five packs and gotten two amazing rares now the amazing rares have already begun to retrace a bit as you'd expect it's a new product you know you can't just expect things to just hold the value where they were Whoop. we got a gold rare in the back as i jump through it so let's fly to see if there's an amazing rare 
in the back. Nope. Oh, there we go. It is a reverse hollow Charizard with a gold rare memory capsule. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this alone Charizard is going for close to $30 to $40. So we are really... Let me tell you, Vic has a booster box opening coming up as well this week. Vic, you guys are going to want to channel your inner Victor. He is... One, he is also, uh, he's pulled the full art promo Pikachu from the VMAX and the, uh, yeah, the promo one and the regular uh, Thikachu from the Japanese Volt Tackle boxes. Unbelievable stuff. So I always say you want to keep products sealed, but if you're extremely lucky, apparently you're just supposed to open them all the time. Vic paid $30 for this opening. I just want to let you know that as I can't get this pack open, right? Vic paid $30, oh boy, for this opening, and he has gotten four big hits so far. Can you believe that? And another white coat. Let's see what he's got. Maybe this is the video that's going to show that this is the that Elite Trainer boxes for Vivid Voltage are the best product. Forget Champion's Path. It's all about the Vivid Voltage and a full art Alistair card. What is going on with this box? Look at this. I'm running out of sleeves. Look at this. Let me tell you right now that Victor is going ham for sure. Everyone in the chat, everyone in my premiere gang, let me know. Like, let me know how mad you are at Vic that Vic gets this box and everyone else gets to get the regular stuff. You know, just open packs. That's what you're supposed to do. If you want to make money playing cards, just be really lucky and open packs. Packs. I can't believe it. All right. So we couldn't have a hit in the close, but let's talk about this box, right? Let's just talk how crazy this first Elite Trainer box of Vivid Voltage was. We have a amazing rare Zamazenta, an amazing rare Rayquaza, a reverse hollow Charizard, a gold rare memory capsule, and a full art Alistair supporter card unbelievable stuff as we put these away for Vic and we're going to get into the next box I can't I am in a bit of stunned disbelief right now Victor you are the winner so now we're going to go on to Alan and we're going to see if Alan as you guys like my handwriting right I got the best handwriting on YouTube you know it right so can you believe what we just saw I can't. And flying, th and this obviously that the reason I like doing this podcast is because no matter what, I have to go with whatever is said and done and said. You know, other podcasts type things. You could go, oh, that looks like a mistake. That looks like it's edited. I can't put the cards back in the pack. I promise you this. And if I'm going to reseal packs, I'm not going to put in, you know, a bunch of random, I'm going to put in a bunch of random cards. I'm not going to give him all that juice. But it can be outdone. With one Thikachu, it can be outdone. So let's get right into this next one, right? And Vivid Voltage to me, some people don't like this set. I don't see how. There's so many amazing cards. You know, I was like, okay, so there's only... And there's even a card that's a lottery ticket in the Thikachu. You want to keep that card... You know, if that card stays at a high value, this product will age very, very, very well, right? So assuming... That it does. And I don't know. I can't tell the future. But assuming that that Pikachu. Now, that card, I don't think it's big because of its playability. I think it's big just because people like the art. And that can... It doesn't matter what the card does. If people like it for the art, they're going to like it for the art. And let's not forget, Pikachu runs this game. I know Charizard is the big hit. But Pikachu, if you ask, if you ask 50 people, name one Pokemon, they're going to probably say Pikachu. You know, that's just the way it is. It's just Pikachu is the mascot of the game. Pikachu. I remember reading somewhere. I don't know if it's true. But Pikachu is a more recognizable character among in the entire world than even Mickey Mouse. Now, I'm sure if Mickey Mouse heard that, he wouldn't be too happy for my South Park fans out there. You know. But if Pikachu is that popular and there's a rainbow rare, then how can you say that Vivid Voltage, when there are three... Very nice Pikachu cards in the Pikachu V and the two Pikachu V Maxes. How can you ever say that this product won't age very well? I think it will. And we have a hit in the back here. 
So let's see our first hit for Alan, who is been very patient, been very excited, and say, listen, pull me a winner. So let's see the first one. It is just a Dialga. Nothing great, nothing great. So far, Vic is destroying this opening. We have another white code here. And, you know, it's crazy because to do this channel, I usually just want to talk about gen basic finance things and stuff like that. But these products are so good that I am end up having to be talking about the cards. And I like it. I like the fact that, you know, I'm talking about the cards that we're opening and the investable abilities. Now, new standard product, doesn't matter if it's Yu-Gi-Oh, whether it's Magic, whether it's Pokemon, don't go crazy and rush to overpay to invest because like I say, investing means that you're buying it for long term. I'm not talking if you're trying to flip the product. If you're trying to flip the product, do you. You, you know, it can make you a lot of money. It could also cause you to have a whole bunch of products you can't move. But if you're looking to hold it for long term gains, then really it's just make sure you pay as little as possible. Put it somewhere as a Galarian Darminitan V. This is very quickly becoming the Machamp of this set where we've seen so many of them, and we don't want to see any of them. But it's a nice card. I'm sorry for my Darminitan fans back there, but that's not what we came here for. We came here to see the Thickachu. We came here to see the Amazing Rares. We came here to see Reverse Charizard. So, yeah, see, he can't even hold himself up. He doesn't have the strength. He doesn't have the will as a Reverse Charmander, a cute card, with a Samurai. So this is our last pack for Alan. Not great so far, but that could all change with just one pack. So let's break into it. Now, I don't know. People say that I was ripping into the packs too hard. And let me know. Like I said, if you want to see just how whoop, we got a gold trainer. Let's just go to the back and check it out because I already spoiled it. A telescopic sight gold rare trainer card. These are really nice, really pretty. This is actually very, very well centered. You wish you had this centering on another card, you know, maybe something with a bit more value to it, but Alan can choose to do with this as he will, and if he wants to send this for grading, it is a nice hit. So, a very quick recap of this box. We just have two hits in the last three packs, Galarian, Darmanitan V, and Gold Rare, Telescopic Sight. So now, the next Elite Trainer box is for a for a person who needs no introduction to me, but to you, it is Simon, who is known locally as the Charizard Whisperer. I have watched this person pull so many high-end Charizards that it is almost, at this point, disgusting. So, Simon, let's see what we can do in this box. Let's get you something nice. Maybe a Pikachu VMAX. Maybe Pikachu can be pulled. But can he beat? The most important thing is, can he defeat Victor in this Elite Trainer Box battle? Three-way, with three Elite Trainer Boxes, eight packs apiece, and let's see what can be done as we get everything over here to be cleaned up later. Eight packs. Well, let's do it. So, just, you know, just a quick aside, keep talking, is that Vivid Voltage, if you could get them at the good prices, close to wholesale, it's going to be hard to lose, just like any other product. Take a slow, steady approach. Get Build your positions. Don't overpay for any reason on this stuff. There's lots of products. If you want to open it to enjoy it, that's fine. But if you're looking to invest in it for long-term gains, you just want to spend as low as possible. These new ETB prices are out of this world. There's zero reason to pay that. The, you know, it's the same thing I would tell you with the regular Commander Legends booster boxes. If you're going to spend $160 a box, you might as well just buy it to open it because there's no money to be made at that point. Even if it goes up to 200 in three years, the returns of that aren't worth it. As our first hit is an Orbital VMAX. First time for me seeing this card. It is a very, very nice looking card. So we slide it in there. All right. So first first hit is pretty good so far, so far. Green code, four card trick. You know, just don't 
it's really very simple is don't spend money you don't have don't overpay and you'll be fine pretty much every single time right as we keep going along here flying through the packs energy stone shuckle cramorant wismer execute wubat beldum blitzel electros oh ooh. There we go. For those, any Electros fans, enjoy seeing this pack there. You know, you wish it was a Charizard pack like that, right? They'd be like, ooh, that's what we want to see. But it is not. Down to our last four packs. Let's get some hype in the chat in from my premiere gang. Remember, this podcast airs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 Central Time. And usually on Sundays, we do the Sunday breakdown. This past week, due to the craziness of... Uh, Commander Legends, I held off doing the Sunday breakdown. I do appreciate everyone for watching. Please be sure to like the video. Please be sure to share the video for those who want to see what pull rates, I guess, could be for Elite Trainer Box. It's a great product. I think that more games would be better off if they had. You know, Magic has their, you know, used to be known as Fat Packs. You know, and those were cool, but Elite Trainer Box has just hit differently, you know? With a colossal V. We're not even going to put that in a thing. Let's plump this up there. 